I have two equal loves uh, beside my family is uh, my love of chiropractic and my love of, um, of animals. We've done not such a good job at getting the message out about the beauty, the simplicity, and the truth of chiropractic. However, I know that in my own realm that I've watched animals tell the story of chiropractic better than I could ever do. I got a call, uh, it was actually on a Thursday night, from a rescue in Washington State. And they said, we have a horse. It's a survivor of a domestic abuse situation and we need to get her out of the state. The woman in the situation owned two mares, one of which was Dizzy's mom, the other was Dizzy's full aunt. The lady was removed from the abuse situation and the perpetrator of the abuse then translated it to the horses, took a baseball bat into the stable area, took the baseball bat to the horses, successfully killed the two older mares and beat Dizzy pretty seriously. She managed to jump out of the enclosure and ran down a road and got hung up in a barbed wire fence. What I ended up going and picking up was a devastated, uh, traumatized two-year-old. The body was there, the body was alive, and there was no horse. And in the brief moments she would come back into herself, it was to get away from us and to hide. My thought process is this is gonna be a challenge. That level of armoring, how am I going to access her nervous system without her blowing up? So a horse can blow up where they can be over top of you in a heartbeat, whirling, firing, striking, and she had that capacity. I've, in all the years I've done, done this, I've had moments of emotional you know, connection with horses, but nothing like this. This was on an order 10 times greater than anything I've ever experienced. Yeah, so it's good. Yeah.